All right, everyone, I thought I would set up a quick video showing you my settings uh, for, for PuTTY. I'm using a Windows machine, so I'm using PuTTY. If you're on a Mac, you won't be using PuTTY, so you, this, uh, this video probably is not useful for you. But for those Windows users, um, we will, you will, and I do, uh, use uh, PuTTY as our application to access Copeland. For Mac users, just as a little aside, they already have a, a built-in uh, SSH command that comes with uh, the Mac because the Mac is actually a Unix machine. That's something we can talk about a little bit more um, in, in the future. It could be in the near future even. But for right now, let's just try to get ourselves up and running. So we're going to take a peek at these PuTTY settings real quick and see what we've got. Here's PuTTY. I've already made a few changes to my uh, installation of PuTTY. Uh, but I'll, I'll point out some of the things. So, so initially we're looking at uh, this session, this side over here on the left hand side, this pane, are all the things that you can configure. These are settings that you can make. Now we're going to make some settings and then we're going to name here in save session. It's called a session. All right. So then we'll, we'll want to save those ses those, those uh, settings, whatever we said, so that every time we open up PuTTY, we don't have to set those again, any of the ones that we want to change. So um, we'll, 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 we'll put, put a name in here and we'll save it but for right yeah okay and so i did already i called mine cope but I'll, I'll show you how to do it in a sec so let's start with the the most basic thing that we need which is our host name which is copeland.udel.edu which will be typed in right there okay just like that and that's c-o-p-l-a-n-d there's no e Okay, and you should be set to port 22 and by default and SSH radio box should be selected. If not, then go ahead and set those things, 22 and SSH. Now what we're going to do here, this is, we're just going to name the session. We, can, we don't want to save our session yet, but I'll, I'll go ahead and type something into there. I thought it was appropriate to call the session Copeland um, because we're trying to connect to Copeland. So it makes sense to me to call it. These are like, it's like I'm, I'm kind of like saying, these are my Copeland settings. If I had multiple machines I logged into, I would want to I would want to differentiate them, right? For these are the settings for Copeland. These are the settings for some other machine somewhere. So uh, I call it Copeland. So I just type in Copeland there. Now you're only gonna do this once, right? So this is we're gonna make the settings the modifications here on the left, and then we're going to click the save button, and then you're gonna see on your screen you're going to have a Copeland under here. <clears throat> These are named sessions, right? If you have five different computers you are connecting to, you might have five different sessions, uh, names. And you'll have this one, and then you'll select that, and then load the settings, and then connect. You won't have to or open, which is synonymous with connect. Then you won't have to set these settings again every time, right? Just one time, and then when you open up PuTTY, select Copeland, and then load. I'm going to load those settings. So one, so we've got that for as far as session goes. It's very important to have the host name, copeland.udel.edu. It's very important that we have the port number correct. SSH is selected. And then we're going to look on under terminal here, keyboard. Okay, so you want, by default, this is the way it's set up. What we want is, um, by default, you have control question mark radio box checked. We want control H. So let's select that. All right. And we'll worry about anything else here. I'll just kind of note to you that there are things in here that might be of interest to you. For me, for instance, under appearance, I, I, this 10 points is too small, right? So I changed this. I changed that. I said, I, I turned it up to uh, 14 or something like that. Okay. So we'll go back to session and then well, I don't want to, now I've modified things. I'm, I'm going to show you, I've already saved it with my modifications in, so I don't want to lose. If I type, if I click save right now, I'm going to overwrite what's previously I had saved. So I, I don't want to see, I'm going to just load it and then I know I have everything set. So um, once when you do that, once you've saved it and it's under there, you select it and load either in either case, whether, whether you have a saved session or not, you ultimately want to click, click open, right? 
And my putty box just opened up. I just need to make a slight modification here on OBS so we can see that. I think we got it there. Okay, let's see if I can do it before it gives up on me. Okay, my username. And then let's see if I can get my password right. Yay, I did it. All right, you get all of this stuff. Um, well, it says login failed because I last time I, I screwed up my uh, my password, so. I failed in, I failed recently. It was one log failed in, like I, I typed my, my password in wrong. So you'll see that kind of stuff. All right, so this thing right here, this area of, of the, the terminal that we're looking, this whole thing's called, called a terminal. Uh, that's the command prompt. When you see that command prompt there, in our case, this is kind of what's important, that you're gonna see Copeland. ESCS. This is obviously something that's different. The whole thing, all the way with the, the tilde, this whole thing here. But what's important is that we know that we're connected to Copeland dot whatever, and then there's a space. And then there's your username. That'll be your username. You won't get W Boyer. Right? So this whole thing is called the command prompt. And so what it's doing here is waiting for a command. It's waiting for you to type in a command. So the first thing you want to type in is PWD, enter. And so this is the command. It's, it's present working directory. We're asking, what is my present working directory? And so we get the response is this. Okay, so this is my number. You're going to have a different number there. You won't. Probably. I don't, I don't know how they come up with these numbers, so you'll have some kind of number there. It just won't be the same as mine. That's what identifies you in the system. That number is uh, synonymous with your username. Right? So there's an association that's made in the system somewhere with that. So you want this. I'm, I'm setting up your screenshot here, by the way. So we, one of the things we want to do is PWD, so I make sure that you're in your, your uh, home directory. That's, that's your home directory. And then we want to do it, the next command, which is ls space negative l. And that's all lowercase. Right? And then enter. And I've got a bunch of stuff in mind. You, you won't have a bunch of things. You, this one we need. You need to have public underscore HTML. And I don't know that you're going to, you probably, that might be the only thing you have. Public underscore HTML. It's possible you'll have a mail folder. I doubt it, but it's possible. Uh, it doesn't matter. This is the only one we're concerned with. That you have that public HTML. And what we really want is all the way on the left here of that same line, right? That has public underscore HTML on the right-hand side. And that's all lowercase, right? Case matters on a Unix machine. So we want to be very cognizant of it. Not only spelling, but case. Um, we need to see, I need to see that this, yours should look the same as mine. And if yours is not the same as mine, then we may have a problem that's easy for us to fix. At least we're logged in. All right, so this is your directory. This is my directory. These are the things that are in my directory on Copeland, which is a machine that lives on main campus in Newark. So I've logged into that machine and I'm effectively remote controlling it using PuTTY. Now, the only way for us to get, uh, to be able to type our username and password into PuTTY for that information to be sent to Copeland is if any connect is open and running, any, uh, connected. Has, any connect has to be connected. So these, everything that we're sending to Copeland is going through kind of a tunnel and a virtual private network tunnel, they're often, they're often called, that's connected to the university network. Now, if we're not in that tunnel, 
we don't we haven't built a tunnel to to the UD network then we're not going to be allowed to, to log in so if you're getting a blank screen um, then it's that's what typically happens if you don't have um, any connect running you'll just you'll get no response when you try to, to log in to Copeland using putty or SSH in both cases you'll get you'll just get a cold shoulder right whereas uh, any other problems will typically throw an error message will will be returned like authentication fails or something like that if you typed in a bad password so I think that should about do it for us uh, on this this should really needed to be a quick video just to kind of get up and running that uh, that putty screen that I that I had showed you there a moment ago this one that's your screenshot okay if you're able to get that screenshot then I know that you have any connect connected you are you have putty installed or you're using your SSH if you're on a Mac and you're able to get logged in and I can see that you have a public HTML I hope I can see that you have a public HTML and I can see what the permissions are that's what this section is over here so lots of things are coming from this seemingly small exercise uh, a lot of different things are being shown <laughs> in that screenshot so that's your screenshot uh, I've extended the due date a little bit on that so let's um let's see if we can get it in hopefully with without too many problems all right catch you later